And right now, President Trump is threatening to sue Nevada. The announcement coming after numerous claims of alleged voter fraud. Well, the state Senate bill passed to have mail-in ballots to all active voters. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live with the president's threat and also why the state's top election official says she opposed this bill. Yeah, Todd and Tricia, when it comes to Nevada, it's right now at the center of attention over the debate over mail-in ballots. Now, AB4 was passed by the state Senate yesterday on a 13 to 8 party line vote. Governor Sisolak signing that bill today, making it into law. Now, the UNLV professor I spoke with says mail-in voting still remains a safe way of going about it in terms of fraud. See you in court. President Trump slamming Nevada after the state Senate passed AB4 on partisan lines Sunday night. It would mail ballots to all active voters in the state. The president in a tweet Monday morning mentioning the Postal Service couldn't handle it. Representative Dina Titus firing back saying the president should open relief funds for the Postal Service and accusing him of voter suppression. UNLV public policy professor Dr. Robert Lang says there hasn't been widespread issues with mail-in ballots, especially in other states. There's whole states that are swing states like Colorado that have all been all mail in. Nobody's contested their elections in the past. If done properly, it's a very, very, very almost infinitesimally low risk. In an op-ed to the Nevada Independent before the vote, the state's top election official, Republican Secretary of State Barbara Sagafsky, wrote she opposed AB4 on grounds that Nevada's current election laws are already flexible for in-person or absentee voting, and it would cost the state more money to print out more ballots. Democratic legislators say the measure is necessary to protect the health of voters amid the pandemic and pointed out there was no fraud during the June primary election, which was done through mail-in ballots. Dr. Lane says mail-in ballots don't favor one party over another and says the bill is in response to the state's rising number of COVID cases. Nevada's had a good voting system, a very flexible voting system, and a very accessible voting system. But it was, you know, mostly through in-person. There's a lot of people hesitant to do that right now for obvious reasons. Now, we did reach out to Secretary of State Sagafsky's office for her comments on the president's tweet. The only comment she gave is that currently she has heard nothing from Washington, D.C. The general election is scheduled for November 3rd. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.